state's premier hula competition is set to make a comeback to the Big Island this summer after being canceled last year. Jen Boniza has more on the protocols in place to ensure the Merry Monarch goes on as planned. The 57th annual festival was canceled last March, just weeks before it was scheduled to take place, devastating halal businesses and fans across the globe. This year's event will happen in late June and will look much different than years past. A celebration of hula and Hawaiian culture. Kumuhula say they didn't want to cancel the Merry Monarch two years in a row. We just need to have it. My main concern is making sure that Mary Monarch and things like Mary Monarch don't die out because of a pandemic. The event president says it's scheduled the last week in June. We have been working with um, health professionals, doctors and organizations in the state um, to work with to get the protocols down because what we want is uh, safety. Uh, that's our primary concern. The parade, hula performances by visiting Halau, and craft fair will not take place for safety reasons. The competition will also look different. Music will be pre-recorded and it will not be televised live. There's not going to be um, any audience um, and that's that's already been been clarified. It will just be the dancers and the judges. Only 15 halal will take part, and only half the dancers are allowed in each halal. 35 is the max that you can take of dancers, but now it's um, 15. And everyone must take a COVID test before arriving on Hawaii Island and three days after their arrival. They have to be all negative. Somebody test positive that halal cannot uh, participate. They also have to quarantine before, during, and after the competition, remaining within their halal bubble. We have a responsibility to our culture and our community to do it right. Cavellu says she's trying to incorporate the vendors and crafters who depend heavily on the event to sustain their businesses. Jen Boniza, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.